Hey everyone, my name is Shara Joshi and I'm a fourth year student at the University of Saskatchewan taking Physiology and Pharmacology. I decided to choose the University of Saskatchewan for several reasons. Number one is that it is part of the top 15 research universities in Canada. Uh, reason number two was that it has relatively small class sizes compared to other universities uh, at its level. And <laughs> well, reason number three was that I just wanted to move away from home. And the University of Saskatchewan was perfect for that because it um, is far enough that I had to move out, but still close enough that I can return home for the holidays. Now, in regards to my program of choice, two main reasons why I uh, ended up choosing physiology and pharmacology. Number one being that physiology and pharmacology is the program that really helps students that are aspiring to get into the medical field. And now the second reason was that this was the program that was accredited for having the perfect balance. And what I mean by this was that the classes are informative and engaging, but they're still feasible to really store well in with relatively lower time spent in studying. I would say that the program was relatively easy first and second year. Be prepared to spend a lot of time in labs as you have at least two labs per semester for the first year. Now, uh, the thing is, you should really take your first and second years as a form of a training ground uh, to really help you build the imperative work uh, ethic that you will really need in your third and fourth years because uh, by that time, the classes become really intensive and their workload really requires a stable work ethic in order to keep up with them. As you get deeper into the program, uh, the labs become a lot more targeted uh, to be program specific and the class sizes that you're in also become much smaller. The application process was honestly quite simple. I would definitely suggest applying uh, for early applications as you find out by the start of second semester of your final year of high school if you're going to be in or not. This can take away a lot of stress and truly let you enjoy the final few months. Now usually the early applications have cutoffs that are slightly higher than the program would typically have but these cutoffs are still like relatively low and you should strive for much higher averages when applying as the rewards are really lucrative for entrance scholarships. The majority of your program is really structured but you also have some flexibility room. This flexibility room is for you to take classes that meet your passions, meet your hobbies more specifically and I would strongly recommend doing those as uh, Likely if you are interested in a topic, you will score better. And I would strongly recommend taking certain grade boosting classes, especially introductory level economic classes and psychology classes, as these are relatively low effort for high reward. Now, by far the biggest tip to succeed in this program is to uh, surround yourself with a healthy circle of friends uh, in your classes that keep you motivated to come to class. Just as soon as you uh, get into the habit of skipping classes, you're in for quite the loop. This is honestly the best uh, method to make a social circle especially if you're uh, attending university away from home. Now, uh, let's talk about Voyager Palace. This is a f uh, residence that's at the heart of the campus. I would strongly recommend living here if you're a first year, as uh, you have lots of engaged uh, RAs who plan, who plan lots of fun activities that a lot of people come out to. Moving on, uh, college quarters. This is the apartment style of living right across the uh, university. It is known as being the party residence. Overall, you're really secluded because it is apartment style living. So the main form of contact you'll have with others is gonna be either um, your neighbors, your roommates, or pre-existing friends that are already in the building. Now, uh, moving on, the third form is Secret Wheeler. It is the most affordable free residences, but it's also uh, the furthest. The winters are deadly and harsh, and you're likely going to be inclined to just stay in your room rather than walk to your classes on campus. 
That's why VP, you're connected to all your core classes with tunnels. So in winters, you really don't even have to go outside if you don't want to, when it's like minus 50 degrees out there. At the university, we also have a huge range of recreational and competitive uh, sport clubs such as Ultimate Frisbee, Volleyball, Basketball, and Dodgeball. There are also other clubs that are offered that are catered to interests such as politics, religion, dancing, and even gaming. The best way to make friends is by getting involved in clubs, attending classes, and just putting yourself out there in general. The biggest thing is to make your university experience your own. Make it memorable. Then uh, good luck.